Kitchen with Galavant, and we are here at the epicenter of all of the action this season in Aspen. And there's no other place that is the epicenter but the Caribou Club, which is the fame club that I think most people know because it is quite the den of debauchery here for season. But what the real insiders know is that it is one of the best meals in Aspen. And we are lucky to be here with Chef Miles, who is the executive chef, but really more the man in charge of everything amazing that is coming out of the kitchen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. I'm really excited because I saw lobsters floating around here somewhere. So I'm hoping that we're making a dish today that has lobster in it. Every peak season, we use lobster for a signature dish. One of the reasons we use lobster here is it's one of the few products in the mountains that I can get from. So freshness is something that is of the utmost importance. This dish in particular, we developed a couple, uh, about two weeks ago. We developed this dish two weeks ago. And it is a butter poached lobster with uh, lobster tortelloni, sweet pea puree, and crispy pate negra. And pate negra, that's a form of pancetta? Pate negra is a beautiful Berkshire, uh, it's a black Berkshire pig that has been fed nothing but chestnuts and acorns for the last six months of its life. So it gives it a very unique marbling and a very unique texture. This particular uh, pate negra came from Jose Andres and it has been aged for four years. That's dedication. It is, uh, it's, 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 it's a pretty special product. And to actually consider that it's been sitting at room temperature for four years really um, gives a lot of credit to the ancient ways that we prepared food. Um, those are the types of food products that I like to integrate into our dish into a part of the city, which is what this is all about. Well, the combination here is really interesting. What inspired you to put this all together? I love tortellonis. Uh, I love lobster filling. I just, lobster's been my favorite food since I was a child. Uh, when I was 10 years old on my birthday, my grandfather asked me what I wanted, and I said, I want a lobster. He said, my son is a big one. You're an expensive kid. Yeah, apparently <laughs> I have expensive, expensive kids. Expensive taste as you, as you became a chef. So what we've done here is we have uh, a butter poached lobster tail. So this lobster tail uh, was brought to a certain temp. We broke it out of the shell, and then we're just slowly warming it up in a combination of butter and water. These are tortellonis that we made here. We call them zebra stripe tortellonis. And then I have a puree, a beautiful sweet peach puree, that I'm going to start by putting that in the center of our dish. So what's in the sweet pea puree besides obviously sweet peas? We've got three different types of peas. And three different types of peas. Yeah, we use I didn't even know there were three different types of peas. Snow peas, sugar snap peas, and English peas. And just a little tiny bit of milk, a little butter, and a little salt. Very simple. So we start with a little pea puree. Maybe a nice little mustache. The plating is one of my favorite parts. You know, this is a really simple plate. We just want the flavors, the colors, and textures to really stand out for themselves. There it is. So what's the secret to poaching lobster? Poaching lobster is really a matter of timing. You have to be certain that you look at the weight of your lobster and that you don't overcook it. That's the most important part. Once you've overcooked it, it becomes very dry, it shrivels, and it's just lost its, its, its beauty. Um, this is uh, And so we're going to add a couple of zebra tortelloni. So the zebra tortelloni. We were talking a little bit earlier because you broke this pasta out fresh. Um, and the zebra stripe in it, I think, looks like squid It certainly is. I use a combination. I do it a little differently than most chefs. They do use a little bit of squid ink, but I also like to use bamboo charcoal. Bamboo charcoal is a very ancient remedy, uh, very ancient Chinese remedy that pulls poisons and toxins out of your body. So not only does it give it a wonderful texture, and it's a more dry. So one of the issues that we have when we make pasta fresh if it gets too wet, if it's too sticky, it's hard to work with. Charcoal actually dries it out, makes it a little more forgiving, and it makes it uh, adhere to the other pasta much easier. Charcoal bamboo, you heard it here. So, of course, we're going to garnish this with a couple of pretty tendrils. Are these spring pea tendrils or what types of tendrils are these? You know, these are spring pea tendrils. Uh, these are grown in Ohio by the Chef's Garden. 
And uh, they're really an amazing company because they have greenhouses and we can get a lot of things that normally aren't in season, fresh and absolutely gorgeous. And they also take a different uh, approach. They grow things for chefs specifically to different stages of their life where you never get them in the market. So we get pea tendrils, we'll get pea flowers. We have an abundance of different pea products available year round. I feel like I've had a whole education of peas in our time together. <laughs> we like our peas here. Uh, we actually, uh, the town of Aspen gives away free peas every season to the first people. Are you being serious? I'm serious. Absolutely. <laughs> so the final touch of this dish is going to be a little bit of this crispy patinata. A tiny bit of flake salt. We always have to use our flake salt for added texture. And then there you have it. Butter poached lobster, lobster tortellini, sweet pea puree. Let's be back Only here at the Caribbean Club. Chef Miles, thank you so much for having us, and we cannot wait to try this. You know, honestly, it's really difficult for chefs to eat their food. So we're trying stuff all day long, and we're never hungry. It's amazing how we do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you're going to have to, you'll have to try this with us. It's way too good. Is there lobster inside this? That is a lobster farce. So what we have here is lobster, red crumbs, and a little tiny bit of Parmesan cheese and mustard. And the color and the texture, I think, is wonderful, especially with that little Miles, you're killing me. This is so good. Oh my god. Miles, you're so